Coach, how would you kind of assess where you are now with a week and a half to go? Uh, I think we're a work in progress. I thought that we had some good work today. I thought we squandered uh, too many plays on both sides, uh, you know, because guys gave into the fatigue. But, uh, you know, that's why this is mock week, so that, uh, so that uh, you know, we work through problems like this. Have you decided on a starting quarterback at this point yet? If we were to play today, it would be Will. What's maybe he done to separate himself from the other quarterbacks? Uh, consistency, I'd say, would be the biggest thing because I think as far as just throwing the ball, they all do a pretty good job of that. And then they have various other physical attributes. But, uh, you know, he's a very committed guy as far as watching film and, you know, has thrown with these guys more than anybody else, although it really hasn't been as much as, you know, once you get a really established situation. Um, but, uh, you know, he, he provides more consistency. Is there still time, like, in the, in the next week and a half for that to change, or is Will pretty much locked in? Uh, it's hard to tell. Difficult to say. You know, we'll see. Coach, you obviously, you know, looking at the scrimmage, it seemed like the offensive line, at least the starting five, and a couple of rotation guys are, are kind of set going into the season. What have you seen from that group and any guys in particular caught your attention? Uh, I think they're better. I think they're definitely better. I think they're playing together better. I think that, um, you know, I think collectively they have a higher sense of urgency. You know, they're still a very young offensive line, but I think they're drawing, some are drawing on the experience they got last year. And then we've got uh, some pretty good uh, reinforcements. And then, um, you know, we're not great there, but they were a work in progress. But we're getting better. And, um, uh, so I do think they've made steady progress. Uh, yeah, I think we have probably seven we could play with right now. Charles Cross was named second team all SEC yesterday. What do you think about the potential that he can have on this team and in this offense? Uh, well, he's a, uh, he's already kind of a quiet leader by example. You know, I mean, you can run stuff back and use Charles as an example of how to get things done. Uh, Charles at, at a young age is as far along as any offensive lineup I mean, I've dealt with. He's got a lot of work to do. I mean, I can't say that he exactly plays like a senior, but he plays better than anybody his age, you know. Talking about mock game week, what did that kind of entail this week that maybe was different from weeks past? And, and are you guys planning another scrimmage this Saturday? Uh, we'll have a situational scrimmage, uh, the mock uh, game week. Uh, the big, biggest thing is practices are shortened so that they're, you know, the in-season format. When you look at Will, is there anything that you'd like him to work on the next week and a half before? Yeah. Nearly everything. Um, nearly everything. Uh, you know, the biggest thing is just keep polishing up, getting his eyes in the right place, uh, get the ball out as soon as he possibly can, and, you know, good pocket presence. And uh, he does a pretty good job with the huddle, but, you know, all those things. I don't have the good, the good news is there's not one glaring thing, but, you know, everybody can sharpen up on all the little things. Are there any freshmen you envision playing a lot this season so far? Uh, there probably will be. They're still kind of hanging in the balance, uh, uh, you know, and we definitely have some. And I lose track of their classification because now they all get a year back. So your guess is as good as mine what uh, class half these guys are in. But um, uh, I think that, um, yeah, there will definitely be some freshman play. When Last year's safety play was a little bit of an adventure. You know, this year in camp, as an offensive guy looking against them, how do you feel like they performed? I think they're getting better. I think we're deeper as far as more people to pick from, so it's a more competitive position because uh, it is pretty competitive because we have a number of quality guys there. And then, you know, we have uh, a couple extra guys at uh, corner, and there's a point in some cases where you figure out who's the best uh, defensive back, and, and you may shuffle some guys around. But uh, the biggest thing, we have more bodies. It's been more competitive, so I do think it's improved. When you went back and reviewed the film from Saturday's scrimmage, was there anything that you saw on that that maybe you didn't see live on Saturday? Uh, well, I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, it was pretty back and forth, and it's the type of uh, scrimmage where no one side gets satisfied with it. But it's, it's honestly uh, the best kind of scrimmage you have, where nobody gets in a long run or a long streak of anything, and then they. Um, you know, they're kind of trading blows at uh, each turn out there, and you have to fight hard for anything you get. So, you know, hopefully we have another one kind of like that. As opposed, It'll be to, short. Oh, I'm sorry. As opposed to last year, do you think you're further along now than you were this, at this point last year? Yeah, no question. Just the fact, 
you know, a bunch of these guys had never even played football on the college level before, you know. So from that standpoint, we're definitely further along, and we had a spring, you know. How much stock do you put in the idea of like a second year jump, and how do you think that'll help players like Will Rogers or, or Dylan Johnson into kind of improve into the second season? I don't know that it, uh, second year, but there's always that that thing. I mean, um, if guys continue to develop, sometimes it's just growth spurts where they put on weight, or, uh, or in a few cases lose weight. But um, yeah, you just try to capture it when it happens. You know, sometimes it happens second year as they get the hang of things. Sometimes it's later, and you just try to identify it as quickly as you can and try to get the talent and, you know, that sort of thing out there on the field and whatever role you can utilize it. In the time you've been here, you've signed a lot of receivers. Are you happy where you are numbers-wise, and how do you feel about the, you know, the progression of that group? Uh, not quite happy where we're at numbers-wise. We're getting there. Um, uh, I think still a work in progress. You know, we've got more people. We've got a, l a little more experience, and that's definitely helped. Uh, we got a ways to go, though. Last year, obviously, COVID took away the normal crowd size. You haven't really experienced that at Mississippi State yet. How much are you kind of looking forward to more fans and, and more noise in that stadium? Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I, uh, the only time well, when I was at University of Kentucky, of course, they, you know, they were full strength and screaming and hollering, and they, Mississippi State had uh, had a pretty good year that year. And then, and then uh, uh, yeah, so it was it was a great environment. Whether it be Texas Tech, Washington State, wherever you were, your offense has made a big jump from year one to year two. Do you think that was mostly a result of just repetition? Do you see a bit of that from your team this off season? I think it's repetition. I think it's timing. I think people get used to being where they're supposed to be, you know, um, with more consistency. Then I think the quarterback identifies it, and then it all kind of works together. If you run five routes, I think if you do it with uh, precision, everybody's in the right place. It makes it sharper, makes it harder to cover, makes it more sudden as far as getting the ball to somebody. And then, of course, you got to protect up front, and that's the most important position on the field is the old line. So. Um, Yes, I do think it, it definitely helps. Could it be more pronounced almost this year just because of how weird last offseason was compared to now we're finally normal? Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, we're waiting to see how this one unfolds, you know. Last year, Coach, at times the quarterback struggled against them or those drop eight formations. Do you feel like that's really a, a product of inexperience, maybe just not seeing it as much? And how do you plan maybe to attack that this year? Well, I think some of it's experience. I think some of it's experience, but if drop eight was some kind of a magic bullet, I wouldn't even be standing here right now because uh, if anybody in America has seen more drop eight than I have, I'd like to know who it is. But uh, so, no, you just, you know, it's just another thing and you just have to react to it. And, you know, and then the other thing is up front, uh, your five got to be able to whip their three. Was there anything as far as the rules or the schedule last year that you actually prefer to this year, or is this year just completely better all, or, all across the board? Difficult to say. We haven't even started this year. It uh, looks more promising, though.